Good morning, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to Monday morning, actually on Monday morning, video announcements. Today is May 6, 2019, and today is National Nurses Day. All right, National Nurse Day. So if you're a nurse out there, happy day for you. All right, we have 14 days of school left counting today. So I know no one's marking that stuff off their calendar, but that's how many we have left. All right, before we start, could everyone please stand and face the flag? And we will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you very much. All right, now since it is Monday morning, we've got Mr. Winkle in our studio, and he's going to give you your Students of the Week. All right, we have four awesome students this week. First up, come on over, buddy. We have Mr. Go ahead and share your name with them. I'm Jacob Jensen. And who nominated you? I was nominated by Miss Hayden. All right, great job down in the gym there, brother. Next up, go ahead and share your name with everybody. Um, I'm Shinya Kim. I was nominated by Mrs. Wolford. All right, congrats. Awesome job. Two more. Come on over, brother. Uh, what I'm, is your name? I'm Drew Fakoda. And who did you get nominated by? I was nominated by Mr. Wolcott. All right, awesome. Good job, buddy. And last one. I am Minji Kim, and I was nominated by Dr. Zhang. All right, great job. All got a Jimmy John's coupon as well. One more thing while I am here today. The uh, eighth grade day is coming up. It's an awesome day at Blue Ash Rec Center. There will be swimming, sports, uh, hanging out, DJ, all kinds of cool stuff. But you do have to earn the right to go. So there are expectations. Remember, you cannot have multiple Fs. So that means if you are failing multiple classes, you will not be able to go. The cutoff date for that is May 17th. So you have to have all of your grades in order by May 17th. If you turn in work the next week on Monday, Tuesday, whenever it is, you will not be allowed to go even if your grades raise. So make sure you are talking to your teachers if you are failing classes at the moment. Also, you are not allowed to have out-of-school suspensions for the second semester. So if you have an out-of-school suspension for second semester, you will not be allowed to go. Two other things, you got to be subordinate to adults in the building. So if you are not listening and being disrespectful, well, you might lose your privilege of going. So make sure you are being respectful and listening to any adult. All adults in the building, if they ask you to do something, you need to do it. Okay? I do not think we'll have that many problems. I hope lots and lots of you get to go to the fun day over at Blue Ash Rec. Thanks, and have a great rest of the day and rest of the week. All right. You guys probably can't see me, which is happy good for you guys because of all these trophies. All right. This is congratulations to our junior high musicians who represented Sycamore at Music in the Parks competition in Chicago this weekend. Junior high orchestra, treble tones, and concert choir all competed and brought back some hardware. This hardware you see now. The junior high orchestra received an excellent rating in first place in class A, uh, AA. The treble tones received a superior rating in a first place in class AA. And concert choir received an excellent rating in third place in class AA. The best part of the weekend was when all of our Sycamore musicians won the Esprit de Cord Award. All right. This award is given to school recognized for awesome character, behavior, professionalism, and sportsmanship all weekend. We're so proud of everybody who traveled. Congratulations. And uh, Mr. Callahan and Mrs. Stein would like to take all the parents and teachers who traveled to Chicago this weekend and made that weekend possible. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these trophies. We'll just sit here with all of them. We'll, we'll make it happen. All right. Current and all Sycamore Circuit Breakers FTC Robotics Team. But oh, you guys are supposed to be announcers. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. We forgot. You guys are stood over there. You're supposed to come here. All right. These are representatives, if they can walk without hurting themselves. These are representatives, okay, a lot better looking than I am representatives, of our choir and orchestra uh, participants this weekend. So, girls, thank you guys for coming up. Thank you for doing all this. And actually, this makes it sweet. You guys can each take a trophy. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. All right, thank you, ladies. All right, and Mr. Callahan broke this one, not me, okay? So, just... Just letting y'all know. Okay, Mr. Uh, broke the trophy. No, Callahan broke it. All right. Thank you, girls. Leave. <laughs>
You guys take those back choir room for me. All right. Digit, all Kurt, Sycamore Circuit Breakers, FTC Robotics Team. We'll be having end of the year organizational meeting tomorrow, May 7th, after school in room uh, 221 until 4 o'clock. See Mrs. Jarvis for any questions. Beta Club app applicants, your application, including your money and essay, are due tomorrow. Tomorrow. So turn into Mrs. Dworkin and Mrs. Derbyshire in rooms 132 and 133. And since it is Monday, we have those fabulous men of character. Just kidding. We've got Mr. <laughs> DeJoy with our Athletes of the Week. All right. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. Happy Monday to everybody. Hey, just a quick reminder, a lot of announcements, athletic announcements, as far as team meetings are going to take place here in the next few days, please listen if you're interested for in doing an activity in the fall, either here at the junior high school or at at the high school. Okay. So with that in mind, um, this is our last athlete of the week for the year, and this is from our tennis team. Our tennis team finished second. The green team finished second, and the gold, and the gold finished third. Right in the GMC. So, uh, so great job and congratulations. Now this is our our June, Raja. The Japola, all right, and he was coached from Mrs. Pittman. Our June is the student of the week for last week's performance at the GMC tournament, as well as con his consistent play at the number one single spot all season. He possesses determination and a growth mindset. I like that. Is that like a tennis thing, a growth mindset? Okay. Towards the game that will enable him to improve his physical, emotional, and mental game down the road. He also embodies the three P's during practice, or in also a match, patience, problem solving, and perseverance. Heading to the tournament last week as a third seed on, on the one singles court, he handily beat an opponent that he lost to during the regular season by making a few changes in his game. In the finals, he battled to the end again against a fellow teammate. These qualities will get him far in tennis and anything in life he puts his mind, mind to. We are thankful to have Arjun be an important part of the tennis team. Wow, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Great job. I saw you play a couple times this year, and you really do get it done on the court. So that's great. Here is your uh, write-up and certificate. All right, congratulations again. Next, we have Andrew Wittenbaum. Andrew, how you doing? Good. Okay. Andrew was on Mr. Stenson's uh, tennis team. That is the gold team, I believe, this year, right? Gold team. And Coach said the Sycamore Junior High gold tennis team's athlete of the week is Andrew Wittenbaum. Andrew plays a consistent game with excellent ground strokes, hustling, and footwork. He never gives up on any point and goes for the toughest shots. During changeovers, Andrew does an awesome job of listening to positive feedback and suggestions from his coach and then responding well to them on the court afterwards. Both on and off the court, he is always in a ready position for, with a positive attitude and a growth mindset. He embraces the theme of the week and continues to reflect on his tennis game. Andrew shows maturity and a positive team spirit toward his teammates, coaches, and opponents. And also parents are thrown in there too. During his own match, he pumps up his teammates and compliments opponents on other courts' good play. Andrew's honesty, integrity, and sportsmanship make him a fantastic role model for others here at Sycamore Junior High and the community. He has been a phenomenal, he has been phenomenal to work with this season. Stay awesome, Andrew, and congratulations. Man, that's a great write-up. Here you go. Thank you. All right, and back to Mr. Harris. All right. Sycamore Dance Team is looking for any eighth graders who want to love to dance at the high school. Clinics for tryouts will be start on May 7th, that's tomorrow, and go through the 9th from 3.30 to 5 in the cafeteria. Tryouts on May 9th, or May 10th, excuse me, are starting at 3.30. If you have questions, contact Coach Pania at the high school. That's Pania R at sycamoreschools.org. I'll send that to you in your email. The last day for Operation Give Back is Thursday, May 9th. So this Thursday is the last day for Operation Give Back. All right, it is Monday. Now we have those distinguished men of character in the studio with the character awards. Okay. Thank you again, Mr. Harris. And you know what, Mr. Stern, we kind of have an upset this week with the character award winners. You know we have, you know what we're going on right now? None other than oh. Mr. Shomo right now. So, <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, no, we're, we're Mr. Shomo, you know we're just joking around. And um, Soraya Clay nominated you, and she says, My track coach, Mr. Shomo, always pushes me to try hard to run the 400-meter dash, even though 
I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me every time he believes that I can do it. And you know what? Uh, Mr. Shomo, we know what kind of person and coach you are, and thank you for everything you do here at Sycamore Junior High School. The kids are very lucky to have you. So that was a teacher nominating a student. I actually have a staff member uh, nominating a student this week, and the staff member is Tony. And if you guys don't know Tony, he is one of our custodians here. You know, this school was built... 1949? Yeah. 1927. 1927. Wow. It is amazing how our custodial staff just uh, keeps it you know, sparkling clean as much as they can. Uh, certainly doesn't look like 1927. But uh, something that Macy does on a regular basis, and I actually got to experience it last week, uh, she goes and, and thanks Tony each and every day after lunch um, as she's putting her stuff away. She says, you know, thank you. I appreciate what you do here. And that is every single day. And uh, students, we definitely notice. Uh, when you uh, are thanking uh, ourselves or you're thanking custodians or other staff around the building, and uh, we certainly appreciate it. So uh, that goes from Tony is thanking uh, Macy for um, being of such great character. We certainly appreciate that. Hey, we have T-shirts for the both of you. Um, you can come see me in room 220. Uh, we make sandwiches on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. All right, have a great day. <laughs> All right, thank you, gentlemen. All right, library books are due back to the Media Center on Friday, May 10th, and all fines have to be taken care of before 8th grade day and the end of the school year. So if you've got a fine, you won't be going to 8th grade day, and you won't be going to high school next year. All right? Um, if you're interested in joining the junior high first FTC robotics team next year, please check your email for Mrs. Jarvis, including the registration and application process. The deadline is Saturday, May 25th. Volleyball players, if you're interested in attending volleyball summer school with Coach Eulen and sponsored by Tri-State Elite Volleyball, pick up information from Coach Villani in the media center. Attention lady golfers, any 7th grade girl interested in information about our fall girls golf team should see Mr. DeJoy in the gym this week to get an informational flyer from Mr. Alexander. There is a meeting tomorrow during Aviator Bell in the cafeteria for all tennis players. All tennis players, please report to the cafeteria before the bell rings. Also, did you know that next year tennis will be a no-cut sport with an A and a B team? So even if you've not played before, this is a chance to learn how to play tennis and be part of a great tradition. If it sounds good to you, come to this meeting. Be sure to be at the meeting as well as we will be discussing summer camps and workouts for both junior high and high school players, along with details about high school girls' tryouts. Student council members, we will have our final meeting this Wednesday from 3.15 to 4.30. Come enjoy food, fun, and special awards from Mrs. Rutledge and Ms. Wine. Jazz band rehearsal has been canceled for today, so no jazz band rehearsal. Please ride the bus home. International Club will meet today. We will talk about all the countries discussed this year and, and get ready for Diversity Week. And more details on Diversity Week for the entire school is forthcoming, so look forward to it. If you've ever wanted to spin a flag or a rifle like you see at halftime of the marching band, this is your chance. Come to the band room after school on Tuesday and Thursday from 3.15 to 4 to be a part of the Sycamore High School Marching Band. All boys interested in playing football this fall, there will be an informational meeting Thursday, May 9th in the cafeteria during Aviator Bell. Varsity football coach Datilla will be here to talk and answer questions about the upcoming season. Any 8th graders interested in playing water polo next year at the high school, there will be an informational meeting on Wednesday, May 8th, in the cafeteria during Aviator Bell. If you have questions, see Mr. DeJoy. Attention, 7th grade girls interested in trying out for fall cheer. After school clinics will take place on Monday, May 13th, and Tuesday, May 14th, from 3.15 to 5 in the main gym. And then tryouts will be Wednesday, May 15th, in the main gym starting at 3.30. If you have questions, see Mr. DeJoy. And we the people, our next meeting will be on Thursday and Friday. Both days we'll be listening to our final presentations for questions one and two using the scoring guide. Please have both questions answered in the final script format on the Google Doc in the four-minute time frame before next Thursday. Plan on meeting with your team to get this finalized. And the First Class Ticket Store will be holding a gift card raffle this Friday at lunch, May 10th. Enter your first class tickets with your name and on the back of many tickets as you want to increase your chance of winning gift cards to some of your favorite places. Look for the raffle buckets and bring your first class tickets with you to lunch on this Friday. The last day for homework club is Thursday, May 9th. Thursday, May 9th. And the following students need to come to the media center with their loaner computers to exchange for the repaired unit. They need to see Mrs. Williams. 
Haley Denham, Ganesha Renassian, Evan Miller, Michael Johnsons, and Ellie Fleck. Woo! That is all of our announcements. I'm tired. I'm tired. We're out of here. See you tomorrow. <laughs>